it's hard to believe but it's already december there's not a lot that we're going to be doing outside right now it won't be long before we start the greenhouse but uh, there is an experiment that i want to try and that is going to involve me using some raised beds now as you can see i have two raised beds here that are completely overgrown and i want these raised beds to look like this raised bed now my trouble is I don't want to do that by hand. I know I could do a no dig method. I could put cardboard down and put more soil on top of it, which these beds probably need to have some added to it anyway. But I'm going to do something a little bit different. See these pests? These are one of your biggest nuisance if you're doing raised beds and also free range chicken. There have been numerous times this summer that they have gotten themselves out of the pen one way or another and they will completely devastate anything you have going on. Uh, so obviously it's a it's a great positive to have these on your homestead but it can also mean trouble so today i'm about to harness the evil destructive powers of these little mcnuggets for good let me show you what i'm doing now um, part of the time i keep these in tractors or or pinned up during these colder months however i want to let them free range as much as possible there's nothing out here that they're really going to harm so I want to let them be chickens and do what chickens do. Now, when I built this raised bed and this chicken tractor, I made them in such a way that the chicken tractor will fit on top of this bed so the chickens will work the inside of here. However, I'm not gonna be using the chicken tractor. Instead, it's as simple as this. When it is time for me to give them some scratch feed, hey, 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 hey. I'm just gonna change the location of where I give them the scratch feed. And I'm just going to start one bed at a time. I'll let them do this one like they've done this one. And I'm just going to add this right to it and let chickens do what chickens are going to do. And that's it. I'll let them work on this today. Come out, check it tomorrow. Probably throw a little bit more in there. And uh, I'll just let them do the work for me. There's no point in me getting my hands dirty. Then I'm going to move my scratch feed because these greedy little gluttons have figured out where it is and they're going to come in here and eat all of it. They do not ration whatsoever. No self-control. And there you have it. The chickens are now using their destructive powers for good and uh, they will clean all of this out just like you see them doing here. They're going to be scratching all the plant material. It will blend into the soil as well as they will be fertilizing it as they go. So I'll do this for a few days. It should look like this bed, uh, and then we'll move on to the next. In the spring, I will have some wheat or whatever they miss that tries to come up, some soybean. But it is a lot easier to pick some of that out rather than having to do all of this. And if the free range aspect is not an option for you, I highly recommend that you take that in consideration when you're building your raised beds and or your chicken tractor, because that is an absolutely wonderful way to go uh, just put your tractor right on top of the raised bed, let your chickens do their work, and you got a clean bed, no weeding, no picking, plucking, except for maybe some chickens. Anyway, that's it. That's all I got for you today. We'll see you guys next time.